I want to read you um, a, uh, a description of uh, the maps of China. Maps of China were made for me by Columbus and Kafka. The most beautiful thing that Columbus had ever seen was the land, gardens, holy bright green. He walked among the trees which grew five kinds of leaves and fruit branching from one trunk. The greatest wonder in the new world, he said, was diversity. A man alone in a canoe rode by. He was bringing bread from island to island. Kafka heard from an unknown boatman that a great wall will be built to box in the center, which is itself a series of box mazes, all contained within the endless outside wall. Villages, cities, each further maze. The ruler of the center has a message for us. He whispers it into the messenger's ear, has it whispered back, nods, then dies. To get to us, the way goes from innermost courts, up mountains of staircases and styles over walls downstairs and more stairs to an outer palace, onward to the next outer palace, the next, more courts, more stairs, more mazy palaces. Years and years go by, and I am traveling the other way, inward to the center. Must not tire, must not grow old and want to die. After years and miles of travel and worry, keeping west, keeping south, I come to a home-like village in Vietnam. All the land from the Yangtze River to Quang Tri had been Nam Viet, Nan Yue. The Hung, Hong, Bang kings ruled for 2,621 years. Tonight, I'm just going to read from the Turquoise Ledge, uh, my, my memoir. Um, I decided uh, uh, that before I forgot any more of <laughs> my life, um, that maybe I should try to write something like this. I, I think part of it was because the world is changing so fast. And in a way, I wanted to get down some of the things from my childhood. Um, some of the people who'd helped me, some of the people who'd been important. I, I devoted a little space to my ancestors, and I think if I cut short my comments, I can actually read that part too. I came to live at this old ranch house in the Tucson Mountains, and before long the desert terrain and all its wonderful beings, and even the weather won my heart. So many of the plants and shrubs and the birds and snakes of the Sonoran Desert were unfamiliar. I had a wonderful time reading and learning about them as I watched them outside my house. I knew it might be some time before I knew this desert well enough to write about it. The Sonoran Desert is very different from the upper Chihuahuan Desert uh, in New Mexico around Laguna Puebla where I grew up. As the poet, Ophelia Cepeda wrote, quote, Tucson is a linguistic alternative, end of quote. She explains in one of her poems that the Tohono O'odham word kukson means place by black mountains. Kuk doag means black mountains, the name for the Tucson mountains. I rode horseback in those days. The view of the land from horseback is, high, is a high and wide expanse good for distances, but not so good for small things on the ground. I was able to spy deer antlers and desert tortoise shells from the high vantage of the saddle, and I'd stop the horse to pick them up. Occasionally, I'd stop and dismount when I spied a turquoise rock or other interesting rocks and walked along beside the horse to pick them up. On horseback, I traveled farther into the wilderness than I do now when I walk the trail. 
I haven't found any tortoise shells or antlers on the walks, but I do see deer now and then, and on rare occasions, live tortoises. In the past 30 years, the bulldozers and urban sprawl of Tucson have destroyed hundreds of square miles of pristine desert habitat and left the desert tortoises in danger of extinction, along with the Gila monster lizards and spotted owls. The old ranch house and the sheds and outbuildings are home to pack rats and deer mice, accompanied by the gopher snakes, racer snakes, and rattlesnakes that eat them. So in the beginning, I got to know the snakes and pack rats because we were neighbors. I began to keep notes from my encounters. Thank you. So we have time for uh, just a few questions. They're, they're for both of you. What advice do you have for future English teachers about teaching literature, especially poetry? Who sh whose books, excuse me, whose, whose books should we ask our students to read? Wow, these are really hard questions. These are some of the hardest questions I've heard. Um, well, I guess we should, first of all, we should, we should, we should throw out, um, well, not exactly throw out, but move to the side all of the, all of our, our, our most beloved, the old, um, you know, the old guys, yeah, the canon. And, um, and, and I really think, especially with poetry, that it's, it's so important um, to, I, I don't know how we would do this, except now with all this technology, I guess you could. But it's really important to get the sound, and so I guess I would, I guess I would um, go out into the world. I guess I would go looking if, uh, um, if I were, you know, setting up some kind of new curriculum, and I would go out listening and looking, and I would um, try to come up with, um, well, people from all kinds of distance, distant and diverse communities. Um, who come to the English language from a uh, different direction than the, uh, than the academy. And, um, uh, you know, I, 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 I think, I mean, just instinctively, I think that's the direction I would, uh, I would go. And I think I would use, um, use the recorded sound uh, um, um, very much along with the, uh, the word on the page. <laughs> okay, well then, uh, this last question, Maxine, we'll start with you. Um, it asks, does the imagination change as you get older? I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling it doesn't because uh, I, I, I feel... Um, that I am very much the same person I was as a child when I had imaginary friends, and now I have imaginary friends, uh, and, but now I write them down. Um, <laughs> I, I, maybe the process of imagination is the same, but the content could change uh, with, with, with education and more rational thinking and, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, knowing uh, more real people. Um, yeah, I th maybe the imagination is the same, and uh, co my consciousness is the same, um, but uh, the, uh, the content of it becomes more sophisticated. 